Our next stop was the town of Wanaka, where the small and cosy cinema Paradiso was screening some of the movies that have been filmed here in New Zealand. On this night, it was Narnia, The Line, The Witch and The Wardrobe. The next day we were off with Canterbury sightseeing tours to venture to the tortured rocks and dramatic valleys of Flock Hill. It was here, high in the Southern Alps, that Kiwi movie director Andrew Adamson created the scenes for the great battle for Narnia. Just over uh, behind us we had the green screen where they shot the uh, bomber scene for at the beginning of the movie and also some other scenes uh, such as uh, Aslan on the stone table. So Dylan and Tyler, this is um, a centaur's sword here. Now I'm no expert on swords by any means that we use in Narnia, but uh, this is uh, what a centaur um, would have used and it's a background sword. So it wouldn't have been used for the close-ups in the film, but uh, definitely as a background sword. And uh, it's flexible, it's made of uh, urethane so that they can do some uh, full-on fighting with each other without actually damaging. What kind of sword is this? Well this uh, sword would have been used by a fawn in uh, Aslan's army. It's uh, one of the good guy's swords and uh, it would have been used just in some background shots because you can see that it's not made of steel, it's just made of urethane. And, uh, but the reason it's nice and soft is so that, that the fawns could do some fighting uh, without actually damaging each other on camera. They needed to be intact for, <laughs> for the duration of the filming. This tour will not only take you to the sites, you can also handle some of the costumes and props. Now, if you've seen the movie Narnia, The Line, The Witch and the Wardrobe, you might recognize this spot. This is the location for the final battle scene in the movie. Over there, the White Witch was camped with her forces, and right here, Peter stood with Aslan's army. Now, this sword I'm holding is the actual sword that Peter held in the movie, and it's inscribed on the side with, when Aslan shakes his mane, we shall have spring again. When Aslan bears his teeth, winter meets its death. So here's to Aslan and Narnia. The largest New Zealand portion of Narnia was filmed here with over 600 people involved on site at the peak of production. You'll even find some of the movie magic still in place. So this was uh, where the witch led her battle. Yeah, that's right. This is called the Witch's Mound. And if you take a closer look, you can actually see. Oh, it's <laughs> not real rock at all. <laughs> no, it's not. They've just built the prop here. Uh, for the witch con to conduct the battle from. Right, so di this is a leftover from Disney Productions, yeah? Yeah, that's it. But it's made from uh, plaster of Paris, so we don't know how long it's going to stay. I'm not interested in prisoners. Kill them all. And the fake blood is still here on the battlefield, much to the boys' delight. This small cluster of rocks is where the White Witch was vanquished and where Dylan, Tyler and I reenacted the fantasy adventure. Uh, I'm Tyler and today I'm Edwin. <sighs> Hi, I'm Dylan, but today I'm Peter. <laughs> Guess who got to play the White Witch?
Hang on, that's not in the movie. That's not in the movie. Tour organiser, <laughs> Melissa Heath. I guess now that the movie's been such a hit, a lot of people are quite keen to go to the locations of Narnia. There's not very many places in the world that you can actually step into a fantasy to actually live it for real and get that, that record of it to take home. And it's nice to be able to do that for people. Oh, it's been fantastic for the kids and I having yeah. the chance to, to relive the line, The Witch in the Wardrobe. Me actually being the, the white witch. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about that? <laughs> well, they said, goes, my husband said goes without saying, but anyway. <laughs> I think the nice thing to do is to let people take home a record of their memory to show other people. You know, look yeah. what I did. I was able to do this when I was in New Zealand. Now go on, admit it. How many times have you seen the movie? I don't want to admit that, actually. <laughs> go on, go on, tell me. <laughs> Oh, in excess of 25, and there's a lot more times to see it yet. It's fantastic. Have... If you're lucky, you'll find your own piece of memorabilia. Your youngsters can even wear the Pevensey children's fur coats, and you can be sure that the world created by C.S. Lewis will come to life.